G'day guys, Ethan here from Caravan HQ. We're away with the team at the moment in the beautiful Gold Coast hinterland. We're doing a little bit of a test on some of our products, seeing what we like, what we don't like, and how we can improve them for all our customers. Now, what I've got behind me is our 20 foot six on the move Trax family. Michael, our sales manager at the Yatla dealership, has taken his young family away, and he tells me it is by far the best off-road family van on the market. It's under 21 foot, it's got extra wide bunks, north-south bed, and even a bath for the kids. Why don't we go and have a look, hey? Now, as we approach the front of the van, being an off-road unit, we need to ensure that everything is meticulously designed for Australia's harsh conditions. Starting with our DO35 hitch developed by Cruise Master. This was developed to give you better lateral movement as you go across corrugation. So you'll notice with this, it spins side to side, and it also spins front to back. Now, as an added safety feature, what this hitch also does is it spins 360 degrees. The major benefit of something like that is it actually isolates the van in the car. Connected to that hitch is a six inch thick Australian steel A-frame. Now, on this A-frame, we're running two nine kilo gas bottles, nice and easy for a swap and go, and an extra large toolbox. These are built to become your last caravan. So what we do is we make them so that you can maintain them yourself while you're out there on the road. So it's the little things, such as re-greasable hinges on your toolbox. On this side of the toolbox, we've got a generator slide, and on the other, you throw a fridge in. Speaking of our A-frame, you will notice that it's a little bit longer than most. And we do that for two key reasons. The first is it just gives you a better turning circle. The second benefit, and possibly the most important benefit, is it just makes the van tow better than anything else. Now, as we continue down the van, you'll notice we've got three distinct looking tunnel boots. Now, that's just to give you extra added storage outside the van. For me, I put my fishing rods, my surfboards, and then anything else that I need to carry, such as chairs, chocks, tables, hoses, mats, etc. Now, if we keep walking down, you notice our 15 amp inlet is nice and centered in the van. That's purely because when you go to a caravan park, not that you need to with one of these, your lead's either gonna be at the very front or the very back. This way, it just finds a nice middle ground between the two. Above that is a Transgo antenna point. That way, if you wanna bring a spare satellite dish with you, you can plug that in and automatically override your standard system. Moving on, we have our Swift hot water system. Now that is a gas and electric system controlled inside the van. Major benefit of the Swift is it's self-maintaining. So you don't ever have to worry about changing anodes or anything else that you're likely to forget. We're running 16 inch wheels with 12 inch drum brakes. Just to give you that little bit extra clearance as well as a little bit more stopping power when you are going on corrugated roads. The water setup on the van comes with two 95 litre freshwater tanks and a 95 litre grey water tank. Now these water tanks all have their own separate filler point. And we do that just to avoid any big air blockages in those tanks. Beside that is a hot, cold, outdoor shower. That way if your kids have been at the beach or they're covered in red dirt or you've even been for a fish, nice and easy to hose off. Now the storage in this van really is quite unbelievable. In here we actually have two hatches that go underneath the kids bunks and that gives you internal and external access for a bit more storage. Now coming back around the van we have a three arm rear bar that is attached to our chassis using U-bolts, a spare tire and of course a reverse camera. Now that is the Safety Dave camera with the built-in microphone so your partner can actually communicate with you as you're reversing. Of course everyone needs one, have a standard rollout awning. Now these are the Dometic awnings and they're just super simple to use. Michael's kids who are all under the age of 12 were able to actually put this out themselves. Now coming back along the van, we've got our external sound system. Marine grade speakers, one at the back, one closer to the front. We have everyone's least favorite job, the toilet set, and of course, a TV hatch outside. Just for your convenience, have an external picnic table. Inside here, we have a slide out Ziggy. Now I'm a really simple man. I personally prefer a standard slide out barbecue, but if you're someone that wants a full external kitchen, we can absolutely accommodate for that. As we step in, you'll notice full security screen door. If we lift the handle up to 12, that will come apart. That way we get a little bit of airflow for the kids, but they're still nice and safe if you did want to go for a walk without them. You will notice that we have a custom built infill where we actually use checker plate rather than your standard fiberglass mold. The reason we do this is you've got young kids, they're gonna be rushing out of the van, their feet are gonna be wet, you don't want them slipping over. Now, as we come into the van, we've got our north-south bed. Now, true to the on-the-move fashion, we have that signature flat bed head. It means you can sit up in bed, read a book, watch a movie, and you can do it comfortably, just like in your own home. On either side of the bed, we've got Sirocco fans. We've then also got a dust reduction system. Now, this is a passive Dometic system, and the reason we use the Dometic system is it's just nice and easy. Now, with our bed, we are, of course, using a full inner spring mattress with a pillow top. We all know how important a good night's sleep is, especially while traveling with kids. 
We do have a bolster built into this bed. So although this is six foot two standard, if you were a little bit taller like myself, you can extend the bed. Now, speaking of height, you will notice I'm six foot, but there is plenty of a gap between myself and the ceiling. All right, that's because with our on the moves, we build them with a larger ceiling as well as a larger door than most standard manufacturers. Now on either side of the bed, we have a his and her cupboard, nice, big, wide and deep drawers, just for your general knickknacks. And even better, four overhead cupboards. Now, speaking about cabinetry, you'll notice our vans are absolutely packed with storage. We have three overhead cupboards above the lounge and a nice big L-shaped lounge. Plenty of room if you want to put your feet up with the footrest or even if you want to drop the table down, let's say one of your friends come over and you need space for their kids. Now, we use an extra large compressor fridge standard in our vans, which means that when we open something like this up, you'll find there's plenty of space for a family to go away for more than a week. Above that, we do, of course, also have our freezer space. Now, nice and high and out of the way of the kids, we have our full fusion sound system. So we turn that one on and it is actually a dual sound system. So what I can do is I can make inside nice and loud or outside nice and loud, and I can isolate the two. I mean, if the kids wanna have a nap during the day, but you wanna listen to some tunes while you're outside having a drink, it's really easy to do. Next to that is our projector battery management system. Now with our projector battery management system, we do of course need some power. So we have two 200 watt solar panels and two 100 amp lithium batteries. That way you can go and do a bit of free camping if you wish. On the projector system, it is really quite user friendly. You'll notice as we come down, it tells me what's going on with freshwater tanks. They're my gray tanks. It tells me what's happening with solar. Now on a rainy day like today, we're not pulling a lot in. What's happening with our current loads? What's going on with my batteries? And just the temperature outside. All on the one screen, all really easy to use. Something that makes an on the move incredibly special. For me, that I grew up in a van like this, these corner bunks are just an absolute game changer. It means that even myself, I'm six foot, my family still travel. If I want to come away with them, I can sit in there comfortably. Or my younger sisters now, they've got their own personal space. You'll notice we have a built-in ladder. On the inside of that, we actually have a wardrobe for each of the kids. So inside, the kids can store their clothes, their toys, whatever kids bring in vans nowadays. They've then got an extra wide bunk, longer than usual, as well as reading pockets so that they can still read their books. You've got USB points, cigarette socket, 240 volt, as well as a reading light back there. Now this can come in a two or a three bunk model. When we go to a two bunk model such as this, you get even more storage in the van. So this hatch actually opens up and goes the full width and length of that bed. Giving you plenty of options for bulkier items such as sleeping bags, spare linens, bulky jumpers, snow boots, etc. Now I know what you might be thinking. What's the compromise? A lot of people are worried that when we go to these corner bunks, you're gonna lose your bathroom. But let me show you something. This bathroom, absolutely ginormous. We've got even enough space, to put a bath in for the kids, plenty of space for a vanity, with a longer bench that goes above your toilet to house things such as toothbrushes. We've obviously got your standard cassette toilet, and we've even got my personal favorite item in a van, a washer and dryer combo. Now, as I'm sure you're starting to notice, On The Move is quite innovative with its products. You'll notice this family van has actually been built on my family's past travels. So what we've got is we've got my mum's personal favourite thing, and that's the kitchen on the awning side. Now, the reason we do that is let's say we're preparing a meal. As you look outside, everyone else might be sitting by a fire. This way you can still interact with your family. Now in the kitchen, we take that innovation a step further. We put the sink in the far corner, and that gives us plenty of prep space without having to make the kitchen overly big. We also then have a full cooking facility. Three gas burner, one electric, a grill, as well as even an oven. It's not just an innovative product, it's also a very, very well-built product. If we pull open our drawer, you'll notice full timber-sided drawer on heavy-duty runners. Now, what that means is someone like myself, who's 90 kilos, can come along and put their body weight on this drawer, and it doesn't even come close to buckling. I can then push it, and it'll close perfectly. The reason we build these vans to such a high quality is when you're taking something like this off-road, you want to rest assured that this isn't going to rattle and start to come off its hinge or break off and spill everything throughout your van on your travels. In a similar way, if you have a look at our cabinetry, it is also full ply. So full ply sides, full ply bottom, and the base is actually drilled directly into the ply frame. What that means is this doesn't sit on any chipboard and doesn't have a tendency to over time start to lean forward or slouch and break off. If we want to push some of these snacks away, you'd also notice that all of these cupboards are sealed from the inside out. So let's say Michael puts a can in here or a glass and it bursts when he's off-road or just on corrugation, it's not going to spill and seep all the way throughout our cabinetry. We've got a double gas strut just for added support. 
I've also got adjustable hinges because at the end of the day, this is a house traveling on a set of wheels. The covered faces over time, because of the corrugation, will slightly move forward. With these though, it just takes a simple screwdriver rather than replacing the entire cabinet fronts. So we've established that this van has every single extra in it, standard. It's got an innovative layout that is unlike anything else. The interior build quality is second to none, but it's also the frame of the van that really sets it apart. So for the frame of this van, we're running an 18 mil thick one piece ply frame. And what that allows for is that little bit of flex you need as the suspension goes through lateral movements, but it also gives you significant strength as it's that one solid structure. On the outside, we're coating the van in a dive on composite, which allows for me to come up and do something like this and actually really quite hurt my hand. But you'll notice on that, I haven't dented the van. So it does make it that hail and small stone resistant. And then of course, we also have quite high checker plate. And that's just to avoid any scratches or anything into our beautiful die bond. Guys, if you're prepping for a big lap around Australia, or you just want something to do a quick week at Honda, there is nothing better than the Trax family. If we can do anything to help, or you'd like to see more, come and say good day to the team at Caravan HQ.